How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Uh, today's beer is going to be from Blind Man Brewing out in Lacombe, Alberta. Today's beer is their New England Style Pale Ale. It's coming in at 5.5% alcohol by volume. Promises to be juicy and hazy. Uh, it's coming in at 35 IBUs and 5.5 SR SRM as well. Um, they're using a uh, British malt wheat malt, flaked oats, and naked oats in this one. I've had this one a few times now. I brought it out to Boston to share with uh, my buddy Eric out there. And uh, yeah, had it at the Metallica uh, tailgate at Gillette Stadium. Drank this one alongside some uh, Lawson's some Night Shift out there. And uh, this was the favorite at the tailgate. So pretty cool. Everyone absolutely adored it. So um, yeah, super excited to give this one a whirl once again. Give it a review finally. Let's get it poured. The Blind Man New England Style Pale Ale Poured. And that is one hazy ass beer. <laughs> That's like trillium level haze to this brew. Even beyond that, like that is wicked, wicked hazy. Almost looks like homebrew or like turbid, like the turkey gravy thing people talk about, you know. Big uh, head on this one actually for a uh, oated um, pale ale. Uh, usually the heads fade pretty quick and just a little bits left, but this is sticking a while around for a while. Looks awesome and I can smell that from here and it smells fantastic so let's get to the aroma. Wow, that smells absolutely friggin delicious. That does smell like a trillium beer. Tons of pineapple, tons of grapefruit, big citrus, orange juice kind of thing going on. There's a sense of like a tart white grape, something like that in there. Some sort of like slight berry note, like raspberry, something like that. And tons of like, yeah, that grapefruit citrus peel. I'm getting a big like herbaceous, uh, yeah, herbal, like a uh, minty kind of basil -y note to this one. Wicked dank. It almost does have that like green onion aroma, like a uh, spring onion, stuff like that. I don't remember this beer smelling that friggin juicy. First time I had it, it was awesome, but not this just vibrant, intense uh, juiciness to it. Let's uh, try it out. Cheers, everybody. There's so much just compacted hops on the palate right now. Definitely getting pineapple, grapefruit, grapefruit peel, maybe hints of orange, stuff like that. But there's so much hoppiness going on. It's almost hard to pinpoint uh, what flavors you're getting, you know? Just huge, intense tropical fruit, uh, citrus, and like a herbal notes throughout the palate. That's a Trillium, uh, Modern Times, Super Flux, that kind of level of beer, you know? Um, absolutely awesome stuff. I can't believe this is being brewed in Alberta. Fairly inexp inexpensive as well. I'm personally expecting to pay a lot more for New England pale ales and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that is an awesome, awesome pale ale. Blind Man Brewing's New England style pale ale. Um, absolutely phenomenal. I would love to see like takes on this beer, like maybe like an all galaxy or all citra, stuff like that. Um, yeah, just uh, maybe different hot profiles, stuff like that, just variants on this beer. But um, yeah, as it stands right now, it is probably the best pale ale in uh, Alberta that I've had, maybe even in Canada, you know, it's phenomenal. Um, probably in Canada. <laughs> if you have the chance to check out Blind Man Brewing, definitely do so. Let me know what y'all think of their uh, New England style pale ale, their IPA. They've got a bunch of different uh, cool beers going on. Um, really enjoyed their uh, Imperial Stout too, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, awesome brewery, doing awesome things. Gonna get a 98 from me. Uh, one of the best pale ales I've ever had. Only ones that really come close to it or beat it and shit like that is like a um, Fort Point <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Maybe one or two from like modern times and other places but this is one of easily one of the best pale ales I've had. Thanks for watching everybody. Let me know what y'all think of this beer. Let's shoot the shit about some great New England style uh, pale ales, IPAs, and the like. Uh, any beers in general. Let me know, know what you uh, would like to see on the channel. 
Um, yeah, please subscribe, and uh, till the next time, cheers, everybody.